Hello everyone and welcome back to another Primark shop with me vlog. I love making these videos and I love seeing what's in store. So we're gonna go to Primark, see what's new for 2022. Can't believe it's a new year and it's come around so quick. Um, and I am gonna do decluttering my wardrobe again. I'm actually wearing a Primark dress today that I dug out that I haven't worn for a while. I love Primark so much, but I am actually on the hunt for some more gym wear. And this time of year, they always have loads of stock of that. So I know exactly what I need and want. And I need a couple of boring essentials. Like I'm lacking gym socks. And they used to sell these like blister socks that are two layers that I'm really on the hunt for. That's what I really need um, for when I'm doing personal training and running and things like that so that's what I've got in mind but obviously we'll have a little browse and see what sort of trends are in for autumn winter um I don't think they'll have any spring stuff right now I think it's all going to be winter stock but we're going to go and have a look so if you're interested in more videos like this please do hit subscribe my name is Brogan I do loads of travel home lifestyle Disney vlogs and 2022 should be a really good year for this channel I've got so many plans so many trips coming up all very exciting you're gonna love it so do stick around if you are new and let's just go to Primark right here we are let's go inside it's been a while I'm gonna start on the left because that's where all the gym gear is and that's what we want I love this lilac color but we don't need hoodies gym bags resistance bands leggings I do need more sports bras and these are really lovely i don't actually wear these to work out in i just like wearing them at home although that's not quite the one that i like the best um what i do need is more tops but i don't like t-shirts i want like strappy tops but not quite like that it's not very long is it hmm i want it to be like floaty they've got some bits and bobs they've got some gym towels which are quite nice i always use one of these when i do a workout they've got a body ice roller never seen that before and they have a massage stick and then around here there's some other massage things this is all new to me i really love this like branding that primark's going for some nice bits actually this is something that i would like to get another one of i like wearing a zip up hoodie to the gym um i don't like an over the head hoodie i like a zip up i'm very specific so do i go black or gray I think I might try a grey. Let's try a large. I might want an extra large if they have one. I like it to be really baggy. I hope there's some more workout stuff because that's quite sparse, isn't it? Um, I'm getting distracted by the loungewear. I don't need any more loungewear. Oh, that's a nice colour. Oh, and that's an extra large. Huh. I'll take that. <laughs> We're going to have to go and find these because those look just like the Zara boots. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram wear. They're almost like wellies, but boots. They're really nice, actually. I quite like them. I hope they have more sizes because I'm not sure a six would fit because I'm a seven, but we'll have a look. Um, but I wanted to show you these nice bags. How lovely is that? A little clutch, 10 pound. If you were going to a wedding this year or something, that'd be really nice. A few more boots, but we haven't got to the shoe section yet. So we will go down there. But this is the jacket I'm wearing today, actually, on me right now. I love it, it's so comfortable. Um, well worth the 25 pound, which is pricey, but it's so comfy. Um, and they have it in brown as well. Do I need it in brown too? No, I don't, let's walk away. Fluffy handbag, anybody? I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's not for me, but 14 pound if you're interested. It's quite a good size actually, but it's not my style. Also, what is this? What is that? It looks like a big bib with a zip. I'm sure there's a way to style that, but oh like that yeah no i'm not i'm not sure on that if i'm honest guys i do like a little pinafore dress with tights haven't worn my little pinafore dresses for a while i'm gonna dig them out oh hang on they've got my jacket in green oh i quite like the green oh do they not have my size maybe that's a good thing loads of coats as predicted don't need a coat but just thought i'd show you what we've got that looks nice some stuff is in the sale hats scarves I think we're gonna go over to the other side now. I like the look of that blue dress there. That's very me. Midi, needs a little belt around it, but like that. This is clearly very on trend because there's loads of this fluffy stuff. Not sure how I feel about those. Says the girl that wears Crocs, but you know, <laughs> not sure. Oh, there's a little belt that goes with that. Do I try it on with the belt? Nah, so I always like to go left first when I come in the shop and then I whiz back round and do the right side. Now this side normally has all the stuff that's like 
on trend or predicted to be trendy. Um, and I can't lie, I feel too old for all of it. Let me show you. This is actually very cute, but they only have small sizes, but that is a really cute little cardigan. But they've got pinks and reds, which I actually quite like. We've got zebra and then a lot of this stuff little fluffy bags that seems to be the thing bucket hats this is not for me and then this side over here is just more of that these pastel -y tones are everywhere look at those trousers this whole wall is like pastels another fluffy bag i uh, quite like the skirt up there but i'm not gonna be able to reach up there but yeah interesting this is what we're working with. Lots of like Gucci looking belts with the double, you know, circles. And then over here, we've got like cord pieces, which are really nice, but just not my style, but love. This is very bare for my Primark. There's not a lot going on over this side. There's a Winnie the Pooh jumper up there if you're a Disney fan. It's quite cute. Once again, fluffy bag. They're everywhere. Look, a fluffy bucket hat. And that thing, what is that? No, all of the Christmas stuff is in the sale. They've got the um, cake pops. I'm never going to make cake pops, let's be real, but I do really like this. Although I could do a whole video, couldn't I, trying Mickey uh, shaped snacks. Do I want to make cake pops? No, I'm not. But this is very cute. If I had a kid, I would 100% be buying this. This Mickey kitchen with all the little bits. I like this, I actually saw this when I was in Parma. I like the little tin, got no use for it, but it's so cute. You could get, if things stay in date, you could get these things for like next Christmas. Oh my God, I didn't see any of this stuff before Christmas. Look at that, mini pole lights. That's so fun. What else have we got in here? Oh, little Christmas tree topper, that's sweet. Although we already have tink that goes on the top of our tree. I already put these on our Christmas tree. I've had them for like four or five years now and they're really nice decorations for two pound. These are well worth picking up. They're really lovely colors, like green and gold. I like them. Always have a look at the pet stuff for Bonnie and they have cute little Mickey bowls. And I'm actually on the hunt for some cat things because my friend Bianca is getting a cat, but there's nothing I can see that I think she hasn't already got. Like they've got a cute radiator bed thing. And they also have these little teepee things, Mickey and Minnie ones as well. Cute, but Bonnie doesn't need a teepee, I'm not gonna lie. The Disney stuff is very minimal in here at the moment. And I am on the hunt for some new stuff because we are planning on hopefully going to Disney this year. Disney princess top. I really like this Mickey Minnie baby pink State, uh, stationary set selection. They've got a desk organizer. How cute is that? You put your phone in it. This is a really nice AirPod case. I don't need an AirPod case, but I like it. Also like that one. That's for the bigger AirPods. Tink one back there. Oh, it's up here as well. Here you go. Oh wow! If you have an Apple Watch, not only do they have straps, they've got this really nice Disney one for four pound. That is so lovely, but I've got a Fitbit, so it won't fit, but... Oh my gosh, they've got um, Nintendo stuff. Joy-Con controller case. Look at these wireless speakers as well. Oh, this one's a little tower one. I like that. The problem with Primark phone cases is that they just can't keep up. Like, all of these are for iPhone 6s, 7s, 8s, and I'm on a 13. Like, none of these will fit my phone. We're getting close. 12. But no. Still nothing that will fix. I love this. That's a 12, although does a 12 fit? No, I don't know, I'm not gonna bother. Has anyone tried Primark mascaras? Because these look like amazing dupes for so many brands that we love, like Billion Dollar Lashes, that looks like the Maybelline one. And that one looks like um, Benefit, but I don't know what they're like. I'm not gonna try them today, but let me know if any of you love a Primark mascara. Lots of lovely bits in the beauty section. I'm actually so impressed with how much this has grown over the years. There's literally something for everyone. Oh, storage stuff, love it. I actually use these for my contact lenses. They're perfect um, for like left and right eye and they fit like a whole pack of contacts in perfectly, just an FYI. I wish I had somewhere to put this because I love it, but I just don't need a trolley, but I, I love it. I don't know if they actually sell it to be honest, but I really like it. But I am gonna pick up a couple of packs of these hair clips because these are great 
when you're styling your hair. This is a section I've not seen before and this looks very similar to the brand This Works, which I absolutely love. But even down to like the font and the colors look so similar, but that'd be a really nice gift. But down here, they also have pillow covers, like microfiber towel ones. I love the packaging, it's a really nice um, collection, Primark Sleep. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this is such a cute little manicure set. Look at the little Hogwarts letter looking thing. Oh, that's such a nice detail. Oh my God, look at the brushes. How fun are they? And this is a mirror, a travel mirror, which I really, I have a, um, a benefit one and they're so handy. I can't tell you how much I love my travel mirror. That's really nice. First time I've seen these. They are stick-on vanity LED lights, which is interesting. Guys, I'm sad. I bought one of these trolleys before Christmas and used it on our staycation, and I paid £35, and they're now down to 20 which, to be fair, is a much more reasonable price, but ah, I could have got it for a lot cheaper. I do not need pyjamas, and it looks like they don't have a huge selection, but just in case, this is new. This is a snuddy, and we actually bought a fake version of the UD on Amazon, um, and this is just Primark's take on it. £21, really cosy and lovely for the winter. I actually really like the design of that too. This pink and red section is nice for Valentine's Day coming up. They're really cute. I also really like this floral pattern if you get really cold the primark thermal layers are really good i've actually worn them skiing before so i can vouch for them but they're just really cozy and comfy and just nice and they do really work if you are going on a cold trip anywhere or you just get cold in walking the dog and stuff like that can recommend i swear i don't need any more bags but that is so cute love it 14 pound Tell me that doesn't look like vaguely Gucci colours. <laughs> I really like it. I found what I actually came in for, these blister resistant socks. They are so good. I also really like these for running and stuff. So I'm gonna get some of those, £3.50. That's my size. And then probably pink, maybe the black ones as well. I like these. How cozy do those boots look? They are Snuggy. I found the Zara welly looking bags. Uh, bags, boots, sorry. They're just not for me, but I thought I'd show you anyway. They're nice too. These are nice. They're cozy socks. And they come with like a little bag of, um, well, this one has lavender. This one has eucalyptus. How cute is that? Made with recycled fabric. They're really soft. This is the homeware, but there really isn't a lot that I think is worth showing you today. Nothing much has changed and I don't really need anything. As I was leaving, I just noticed that Primark have, or at least my one does anyway, um, a section to donate your old clothes in case you're interested. I've got all the goods, so now we can go home and show you what I got. I'm pretty sure by the time we drive home, it'll be pitch black. So I thought just as the sun's setting, I'm in the car park, it's pretty quiet. I'll quickly show you the things I bought. I will say it wasn't the best Primark trip. I never expect it to be in January. All of the Christmas stuff is in the sale and they don't have like a transition of seasons right now, but I did get a lot of bits. So I only got one item of clothing and then a lot of good bits and bobs I needed. So. Let's just go straight into it, shall we? First thing in here is a nail polish stand for three pound. I've been wanting one of these for ages and it was one of those things I didn't need right now, but I always said to myself, when I see one, I'll pick it up for three pound. This will be a lot better to store my nail varnish in. I don't actually wear a lot of nail varnish. In fact, I don't have any nail polish on right now. I'm letting my nails have a bit of a break because before Christmas, I was getting gels done every two weeks and they were starting to tear, which is really bad. So I've got strengthener on at the moment and um, I'm just letting them be. But I obviously do have some nail polish, so I thought this would be great. So that's the first thing. Where should I put my things I've shown you? I'll put them there. This is so random, but I saw this sunglasses case for one pound. I quite liked the fact it was clear does the job my sunglasses are always the kind of things that just get chucked in my handbag and actually i quite liked this i can see them and i don't know for a pound i'm hoping to go on a hot holiday soon guys if all goes well so i'm going to take it on that trip that's why i saw it and picked it up then i got the mini mouse desk organizer i didn't actually 
open this up to have a look at it properly but it's baby pink oh it's broken okay i'm gonna run inside and get another one speaking of disney i did get the bag the 14 pound um donald bag i just love it i really love that it looks like gucci-esque um i liked the simple little disney logo i like the feel of it the size is pretty nice yeah i really love it i don't need any more bags i've become quite obsessed with lounge fly bags as well so i definitely don't need any more but there we go i picked up some cotton pads to remove nail varnish so these are the natural organic cosmetic pads for 90p i also got these for 50p each they are um sachets that you can put in your drawers or your wardrobe they're scented white lily and blossom so they were a pound down to 50p so i got two of those they're really nice if you're going on holiday you can put one in your suitcase if you want to keep your clothes smelling all nice um but yeah you can use them for a variety of things like your underwear drawer and whatnot so saw those picked those up then i found the socks that i wanted the blister socks uh these have been out of stock for ages they were three pound fifty each for a pack of three and basically they just have like double layers in them so they're really comfortable and yeah i'm looking forward to wearing those because i spent five pound on one pair um that has lasted me pretty well from like a sports shop so this is a much better deal also speaking of socks i got the extreme cushion ones as well these are just good with trainers um i already have some of these but they are looking a little bit sorry for themselves so gonna replace them again three pound fifty i got this green zip up jacket to wear to and from the gym this was 14 pound i got the extra large these are definitely going to be a bit marmite love them or hate them thought these are quite good for future trips or when i went to a couple of weddings last year i wanted to switch out from wearing heels to nice sandals and i don't have many i used to have some like this and they do break because they're cheap but they were originally eight pound down to four pound and they're just like sparkly sandals obviously no one's buying these in january but i am because they're helpful i know they'll come in handy um for future trips and like i said i'm hoping hopefully gonna go on holiday so i also picked up a travel size micellar water garnier one love this obvious that i need that for travels and then i got the clips for my hair these are good for pin curls if you use the dyson air wrap you can like pin the curls at the bottom and i got two packs for two pound fifty each they are quite thick and bulky i definitely think they're not for pin curls because they've got like grips in them um but they're also really handy when i'm like doing my makeup to pin my hair away from my face so got them for that and then last but not least i picked up some um wireless seam free recycled plastic sports bras um so these were 10 pound for a pack of three and they're just really comfy these are the bras that i wear pretty much every day i don't like wearing underwire bras mostly because none of my bras fit me very well and they're all so uncomfortable so there we go that is everything i got i'm gonna run back inside and see if i can get a new one of that desk thing i'm back <laughs> and uh they exchanged it no problem obviously with these things in primark you do have to sort of double check them but i did not did i um but it was six pound for this which honestly i think this is the kind of thing that might go in the sale i don't see it being super popular but i just thought it was so lovely to have on my desk i liked the color oh it's got oh there it's fine um yeah it's just a really simple little pen pot basically on the box it has a phone sideways like that so i can you know watch shows or whatever but i'm probably not going to use it massively for that i just liked how it looks <laughs> anyway i think i may do a decluttering tidying organizing my home office video for you soon so let me know is that something you'd like i feel like we all like a decluttering and tidying and you know getting things in order don't we that's my first primark shot of me of the year bit random don't know how i spent 70 pound but i did i'm not gonna lie i think this is my favorite thing i bought i know that everyone's gonna say you don't need any more bags i feel like the last few vlogs i've bought a gym bag a shopper bag it is a little bit embarrassing but this one <laughs> this one is gonna come to disney with me i'm hoping we can get to disney this year that's the plan anyway i would also love to hear what shops you want me to browse in um i'm actually wanting to do the downstairs bathroom and like renovate that so may have content around that at some point and shopping for bathroomy bits but yeah is there any particular shops that you love tk max and home sense always a good one um but let me know i actually really want to go to costco i've never been and there's one in southampton so i would have to drop bonnie off at my mom's and then um go for the day <laughs> 
but I really want to go. So let me know if uh, Costco is a place that you visit and whatnot. But anyway, I'm waffling on now. I just love filming, but I'm going to go home. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next ones. Bye.